Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, April 17, 2024. 42 degrees at 7.04 a.m. and I'm your host, Bak Kamal. And I'm still a sinner, a tired sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Help me to trust you and love you, God. Your will, not mine, be done. Now, one blackbird out there. Oh, and my needs are met and my wants are few. And I'm sitting here with Brother Prince and co-star Sullivan. A little bubba. Bubba. He, Michael, and Max all went out this morning. Princess did not want to. We've been up since about 4.30. Just decided to get up rather than toss and turn. Uh, it's gray, cloudy, overcast. We had rain in the night. I listened to that falling on the roof. That was very soothing and relaxing. Got winds gusting at 17 miles an hour out of the east today. This is pretty much what it's going to be like all day according to the weather conjurers. We've had our coffee, some Tanzanian pea berry. Uh, read our readings, said our prayers, ate an apple, a Granny Smith. We're going to try to grow some seeds out of that one. To the 8 billion of you who are not tuned in on a regular basis, uh, I tried growing a pink lady apple that I found a seed in it. It had a root on it, and uh, me with my black thumb, I killed it. So anyway, where do we begin? Where do we go from here? What do you think, Sully? Nothing really stood out as far as readings go. To the 8 billion of you who were not tuned in yesterday, we did get out and... Uh, had a nice hike out at Rockport. I had mentioned I was going to take a bike out there. I went out to Long Lake to do some, pick up some sticks at my niece's place and was going to bike at Rockport, but I decided to just go for a hike around the quarry. And I had a good adventure out there. It was nice. And during the course of that walk, <clears throat> hike, whatever, and my ramble, I mentioned going to Goldilocks going to Grandma's house. It was kind of a mixed metaphor and it was a joke. It was Little Red Riding Hood going to Grandma's house. And another thing, I uh, I was talking about how in the morning I get up and give thanks and pray for help. In the after or in the evening I give thanks and after let's start that over in the morning I wake up give thanks and ask for help <clears throat> in the evening I give thanks and ask for forgiveness and in between I curse and I mentioned that to Reverend Case one time and he looked at me and he said that about sums up my day uh, when I finished my hike out there, I ran into a couple people that were enjoying the beauty of the day and the beauty of the view at Rockport. And uh, long story short, as they both were sober people also. And you, somehow you can just tell when you get talking with people. And uh, it was interesting having a nice, having a nice conversation uh, with people that are, you know, sane and sober and <laughs> it's a rarity anymore. And it, it was interesting. We knew, we all knew a lot of the same people and uh, it, was, it was good. I came home, cooked a burger, some fries, had a salad, uh, hung out with my loves. We read another chapter from the book we're reading. Um, I talked with a guy about getting an estimate on refinishing a deck and we fell asleep watching the movie The Devil's Backbone.
great movie directed by Guillermo del Toro. Oh boy, we're going to take a little break right about now. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Uh, Mo and Millie Mallard were out there feeding in the pre-dawn. We got a dove out there and a couple little, looks like John birds as I call them. Uh, but yeah, another another mallard came in, a drake, and chased them away and didn't bother eating. So I don't know what, what was up with that. Um, I'm looking at headlines and reading what passes for news, etc. And the usual thing, you know, the the governments that our government, elected government officials who swore to protect the country and uphold the Constitution of the United States are sell, selling us out as ever. We're being invaded by foreign enemies who are taking over this country without firing a shot. And uh, one thing that caught my eye too was uh, those witches on The View, one of them said that O.J. Simpson passed away recently and, you know, he it's pretty much a done deal that he murdered his ex-wife and her a friend of hers back in whenever it was. I can't remember. It was in the mid-1990s. And this, this host on The View said that uh, that was page payback for the Rodney King beating when the L.A. officers pulled him over and, you know, they did go a little overboard on the beating, but he was drunk, he was not cooperating, and, uh, you know, the way that played out, he, after the trial and everything and the riots, he flat out admitted that he, he was wrong, you know, what he did when he was speeding and drunk driving and all that. But anyway, yeah, that, I, I just... How can you equate murdering two people with uh, the police pulling a man over? You know, and call it payback. And those women on that program, I don't know how they can still be on the air because all they do is spew hate speech, in my opinion. Uh, another thing that came up, and call me a misogynist, I don't care. I am what I am, and I know it, and I can live fine within my, inside myself. But... Uh, Women's basketball was the subject because a couple college, recent college graduates have been signed to the WNBA and the feminists are shrieking about uh, the disparity in pay between men and women's basketball players. And they just don't get the fact that it's a product. Nobody's watching the WNBA. They, they have a 40-game season. They average 9,000 fans to a game. And... I don't know exactly how many fans are averaging going to, to men's basketball, but it's an 82-game season, and there's a lot more people in the stands, and the NBA has been subsidizing the WNBA since it's been started. And if these feminists are, are so... They're shrieking about disparity in pay and equal pay for equal work and all that, why aren't they filling the stands and going to these games, you know? It's an inferior product. Nobody wants it. So ergo, like any product, if you don't got something people want to buy, if, if you're selling something people don't want to buy, they're not going to buy it. But they don't get that. It's all about, oh boy, not equal pay. It's, it's discrimination against women. Well, get over it. I'm tired of these people that aren't living in reality. <laughs> oh boy, I could go on and on and on and on like that. It's just crazy this world we're living in. And I'm thankful for places like Rockport where I can go and enjoy and get away from that. And that, that I'm learning to just be able to take that with a grain of salt, you know, and not get too stewed up over it. But it is. It's, it's ridiculous. There are so many issues like that where the feelings are overrunning the facts of them. And anyway. Oh, there's a train whistle. That's the same train that I, I rode across the key bridge with President Biden. And with that, we're going to take another break. Oh, look at those trees blowing around out there. 
And right when I say that, the gust isn't as bad as it was. Oh, so anyway, on tap for today, I'm going to bake bread. It's bread baking day on Wednesday. I'm going to make pancakes this morning. I've been trying to cut back on carbs, but I thought, you know what? Today would be a good day to make some pancakes. And I got some real maple syrup and butter to put on those. Or sometimes I put honey. We'll see how that goes. Um, I got to take my vehicle in to get it checked out. My truck, it's been starting real rough. The idiot lights are coming on, and I think I might need a new timing chain, belt, whatever it is. Sully's on the move. Sully is on the move. Uh, what else are we going to do? I've been talking to people about uh, who they could recommend an estimate to get a new roof put on my home. Um, what else we got on the agenda for today? The usual domestics. Probably do a little bit of core work, some leg lifts and things, and maybe some mountain climbers. My usual yoga things to align my spine and keep my neck moving freely. Uh... And there were some other things. Probably do some laundry. But I won't be going out and about too much because there is rain in the forecast. So, I think that's about all we have. From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, grieving, Twisted, convoluted, confused, happy and grateful soul. Piss off, happy, wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for not tuning in.